everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and our continuation of the Let's Play series. So we went over the garrison um, and that was as my daily gold making source. My other source is the Half Hill Farm out in the Mists of Pandaria. So we're located right here at Half Hill. Um, I did not yet have the flight path, so I came to the closest one, which is the Grassy Climb, and then flew right here till you can see this little farm. And so what I thought I'd do in this next couple of Let's Plays is that some people don't have this farm even opened up yet. So I thought I would show a Let's Play series. Probably will take about four to five videos. And they'll be short because you do um, each section of the farm in a continuation of days because you'll open up your first plot and then you have to wait overnight for the crops to grow and then you have to do the next plot so on and so forth so I thought it'd be easy if we did that and so I'm taking one of my newest tunes one of my alts because my other four or five tunes all have their half hill farms up and open and running so I thought I'd take a brand new one doesn't even have it open yet, and we get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go get the flight path for here. So the easiest way to get here is from your major city and go through your Miss of Pandaria portal. And then you wanna fly as close as you can to Half Hill. Um, like I said, I flew from here and flew down. So now we're just gonna go over here and grab the flight path real quick. So that next time we can get here really quickly. If you really want to, you can put your hearthstone here, but if you're still doing Shadowlands stuff, it's not, you know, you just basically go to the major city in Shadowlands and then just take the portal to your major city and then just go through the Miss of Pandaria portal and then fly here. Or if you have alts, you can just leave them here um, and keep your main out in Shadowlands, whatever works for you. So let's do it. So let's talk to Farmer Yoon. This is your first step. So what I'm going to do is follow my Zagor guide because I use that. So I basically follow the Farmer title for this guide. Let's take over that. So in order to choose a farmer title, we have to come exalted with tillers. We're just gonna hit more here. So we're gonna talk to Farmer Yoon right here. Tell me of your troubles. All right, so we're gonna clear some rocks. That's our first step. And you have to get a total of eight rocks. So they should be relatively close to your farm. Two more. Oh yeah, got the big one here. And then we'll grab this little one right over there. So that's done. Now we go back and talk to Farmer Yu. Now he's inside this building, right here on our farm. Welcome. All right, so I gotta turn this. I have the world quest thing on. I gotta turn this off. Experience to level. Um, messages. Okay. So now we talked, we basically watched this dialogue. So basically, they're saying, oh, I didn't know that you would be here. Oh, I didn't know this was your family farm. So on and so forth. So you just watch through this, and then we wait for it to complete, and then we're accept, learn, and grow seeds. You even know how to run a farm? Know what? I'll save you the trouble. Sell me this here piece of land and go back to where you came from. Farmer Yoon says, besides, once I've gotten the hang of this, I want to be a tiller like the rest of you. Mudclaw says, you, join the tillers? Ha! Huh. You'd have to prove your farming skills to all five members of our council. They would never vote for you. Never say never, my grandpa always said. I'm going to give it my best shot. Do as you please, city boy. But I wager you won't last a week, I mean, look at this dump. I give him five days. Two days, tops. 
Come on, boys, let's leave him to his farming. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> All right, so let's accept this. I have auto accept quests on. Um, so now we're going to follow the path because now we have to go to Merchant Greenfield and we need to get some seeds. So Merchant Greenfield is over here. You can basically fly over. Uh, so our Merchant Greenfield is right here with this little top bubble. So we're going to get a packet of green cabbage seeds. Please, my so I'm here to pick up seeds for Farmer Yoon. He just inherited Sun Song Ranch. You can literally see him from where you're standing. Okay, so now we got our package of seeds. We're going to go ahead and mount back up and go back over. All right. Hello. Next one is on me. So now that we turn those in, we're going to go ahead and till the soil. So you right click on it. I'm going to move this a little bit so you can read it a little better above the words. And now we're going to go ahead and plant. You just click on it and you plant your your greens. Oops, touch that one. All right, so those are now planted. So we turn in Learn and Grow. And we're going to accept Learn and Grow 3, tending to our crops. So now already, just by doing one quest, we are already friendly with the tillers. The rep goes really quickly here. So now we have to use a rusty watering can. Um, so it should already be in your bags. So we'll go ahead and check your bag. It should already be there. Ours is already just showing up on our little guide here, so it makes it pretty easy, but it is in your bag. If not, their tools are over here too. So like if you need them, you should be able to find them and pick them up if they're over there. So go ahead and do this. And then we'll water this one. You can tell they're parched with the smoke. All right, so now we're gonna turn this in. Tell me of your troubles. And now we got to collect them. So now in a couple of seconds, we should be able to wait a moment and now they're fully ripened. And now we can go ahead and harvest them and we get our green acre achievement. Which just means that we have our first crop on our farm. So now we're gonna go ahead and till the soil again. And we're gonna turn in Learn and Grow 4 and Learn and Grow 5, which is the Half Hill Market. Greetings, one. Okay, so now we're going to collect the dark soil. The marsh lily is right here. I don't know why I mounted, but it's okay. It's right here underneath the steps. You see that right there? So you're gonna get up there. So you're just gonna get under here and get our marsh lily. And that gives you reputation with the NPCs that are in the Half Hill Market over here. So now we're gonna go turn this into Gina Mudclaw. Gina's right here. I'll go ahead and turn that into her. Greetings, farewell. And now we need to get one scallion seed. Looking to buy? So we're gonna go ahead and accept to buy one scallion seed. If this doesn't, if you don't have a guide, it's right here. So you're just gonna buy one. All right. Now, since they are having us buy one scallion seed and we know we have another on the farm, for me, um, look on your server to see what actually might sell when you are planting crops. You can use the Undermine Journal to find out, but I know from my server on Zolgen, Jade Squash sells pretty well, white turnip seeds, cabbage, things like that. So I'm just going to buy one uh, of the other seed because I'm only planting one scallion, but I don't want to underutilize the other plot too, so. Alright, actually we have four, so let's, um, let's go back. We only have to plant one of those, so let's get two more seeds real quick. Wow. Take your time. Enjoy. The witch berry also sells really well. Not the seed, but the actual plant or the harvest that you bring back up. So like I said, just go through the Undermine Journal, look what's going to sell on your server. So now we got to till our soil again for our first little plot. We got to plant our seed. And now we have these three extra, so don't let them go to waste overnight. So, where did my other seeds go? My bags are kind of full on this character at the moment. There we are. Oh, 
Oops, my cursor's in the wrong spot, so it keeps <laughs> has me keep typing. Uh, no. All right, so these are alluring. See these like lovely beams are alluring mobs. So you click, you right click on your vegetable or your fruit or whatever you're farming. And you're basically just gonna kill the birds. That'll take care of those. This one's parched. So we need to water it. Here's our watering can. You can also move your items out to your bar if that makes it easier. We can do that real quick. So we watered the growing scallion. This one. We have to go ahead and hit this number one button a million times. Once the bar comes, hit number two. So you're gonna keep spamming number one. Once the vine slam comes up, hit number two. And eventually you should just take the vine away. There we go. So now we have our little farm. It gives you all kinds of information on how to deal with all of the different things because you may have different ones. But as we go along in the Let's Play series, you're gonna see that. So we clicked, um, now we have to basically wait for our harvest overnight. Not much else we can do. Um, unless you get a bursting scallion immediately after planting your scallions, you'll have to wait a full day until we can pick our crop again. Click here if you're ready to harvest your crops, which we're not. Click here to start doing any dailies. So we can see if there's any dailies, but there's not. This is day one. Really quick video, like I said. Um, I will go ahead and get another video out for you tomorrow. So these are gonna be shorter videos. So until we get our farm opened, I may do them every day for you so you guys can follow along with me. So it probably takes about four to five days to open this full entire farm. So I'll get a video out to you tomorrow. I'll do it and record it. And then Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Um, Monday, Tuesday, might you if you're scheduled as well. So um, like I said, I have to wait the day to do them. So you might see the videos on Monday and Tuesday come after I get off work. Um, so I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully this will be helpful. Um, what I'm going to do really quickly is just log out here. Actually, let's log out. I'm going to show you, I think I already showed the farm on one of my other Let's Play videos. But I just want to, I think one of my tunes are out here. Um, I basically, you can grow a couple of things, but what I like to grow on my farm, once you get it fully exalted and once you get all the four plots open, I like to, um, I like to plant the seeds that give you all the ore. So the black, white, uh, trillium ore, as well as the ghost iron ore. Some people like to plant the songbell seeds, which is the spirits of harmony. So you can also turn those in at the vendor at the um, Vale of Eternal Blossoms so that you can go ahead and turn those in for ghost iron or black or white trillium ore as well. But it's really to your own um, personal decision what you want to do. For me, I just I just prefer to farm up the, um, the ore myself. So this one today I decided I was like on this farm. So on my other four tunes, I decided to do a little bit more of a variance, right? So on my other four tunes, I'm doing all of the minerals, so I'm planting all of the ore. On the Warlock, I was like, let's just change it up. Let's farm up all of the Motes of Harmony and see if I can try and get a little bit more. But um, I just wanted to change on this one. So this is what it will look like once we get our farm fully opened. Um, and you'll just come here. It literally takes five minutes. So once you get fully exhaust, um, exalted, I almost said exhausted, not exhausted, you're exhausted. Once you get fully exalted, you'll get watering cans for your full plot, you'll get a scarecrow, you'll get a plow so you don't have to till each individual soil. It gets really nice and um, really quick. I kind of have a routine of starting on one end um, and going through it and I'll show you that really quickly. So if you wanna continue with your farm the next day with or without me i won't take offense um if you want to keep going but hopefully these will be helpful for those of you out there that are newer to gold making or forgot that your half hill farm even existed as a source of a little bit of gold in addition to your garrisons every day all right so here's our plow okay, i'm gonna put that out there so you get a plow um, eventually you won't even need the bug sprayers or the watering cans because I have the basically you get the pest repellents that will take care of all eight of your plots. 
Then you also get a plow that'll take care of all of them as well. So I basically harvest everything, and then I go through and plow all of the plots. I think this time we'll put down the other seeds. Now, Moats of Harmony and Spirits of Harmony also sell for a decent price on the auction house. People do buy them. So, what did we get? Where did they go? Here they all are. So, 16. So, you need 10 Moats of Harmony to get one Spirit of Harmony. And that's 111 gold. So, you can decide if you want to grow them. You can alternate your farms if you got multiple tunes. Do whatever you wish. Like I said, I like the ore. Um, so, we're going to go back and buy some more seeds from the vendor. And I'm going to get a, once you get exalted, you can get a whole bag that has 10 charges in it. So the snake root is the minerals. The song bell is for the motes of harmony, AKA spirits of harmony, that you can turn into spirits of harmony. All right, so we're going to buy a bag of the snake roots. And I like to put them on my bars because it just makes my life easier. Next one. All right, so. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what it looks like when you're done. So what I do every day, or as I try to do every day, is come out here, do my half hill farm real quick, and then herd to my garrison, do my garrisons, and then I'm done. So I run up and down and get all these thrown in. Like I said, it does not take long once you can establish a routine. I don't have that many alts either to run these through. But I know some people have a lot. So I basically go ahead and throw up the pest repellent. Pest, rep pest repellent. <laughs> and then the water. And then the pest. So that eliminate all the parched ones. Then I click all the alluring ones. I try and kill all those at one time. Yeah, I just use a staff on them. They're low bees. Hello? Okay, cool. All right, so then I go through and do easy jump, smothered snake root weed. All right, so you want to get them all to be growing. So if they say tangled or runty or whatever, you want to make sure at the end of it, they all say growing snake root. This one says wiggling. There's a mob in there. All right, runty, you just jump. Run to you, we just jump. See if you kind of do it in that order where you do your pest repellent, your pest repellent. I can't say that word today. Pest repeller. And then running it water, water, pest repeller. And then do these in kind of a fast pace. You won't spend much time going through each and every little one. So see, we're done already. All of them are growing and we're done. So that's what your farm will look like once we get this Let's Play series done. You'll be able to do that every day. You just come back, take less than five minutes, harvest everything. So we got a total of, let's see what we got. Oh, we just replanted. So this time around, we got the Spirits of Harmony. Um, we didn't, we're just planted down the minerals again. So yeah, that's it for that. And then no, typically I would hearth to my garrison and do all my garrisons. So what, like 10 minutes on each tune? If you do them throughout the day. If you only have a couple vaults, it won't take you very long. So I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play series. And stay tuned. Um, episode two of our Half Hill Farm will continue tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.